What do we have here? What's in the box? This is our Froley system for the bed. Alrighty, so we finally, after living in the camper for all those two years and traveling, we uh, decided to invest in the Froley system. I don't know why now, even though we go out, we go out twice a month probably. Um, we just thought it was time. We, we've done the mattress switch outs and tried different ones, but we're now gonna give this Froley suspension bed system a try um probably should have done it a long time ago but we are going to be headed to Asheville here soon so we wanted to uh sleep very comfortably and see if this makes a big difference so we're going to let you know and see what the process is of actually putting one of these things together Okay, so underneath our mattress, um, we got this off an 18-wheeler uh, website. It's for humidity control. It's just like this felt-type paper. All this plastic mesh material, I don't even know what you call it. But what it does is provide airflow underneath for moisture, humidity, so you don't get mildew. Um, we've had it underneath there for quite a while. It's worked out very, very well. So this is probably going to be going bye-bye because the Froley system already provides that airflow and support. I don't know what we're going to use all this for, but uh comes up pretty quick, pretty lightweight as well, as you can tell. This kind of gives you an idea of how it's going to be in there. See how complicated this is. Okie doke. So what they're saying is you have to lay all these out. Um, if you're using the inner hole, it's for narrow. This is medium firmness and this is uh, more soft cushy. They recommend doing the medium. We're gonna do the medium, I believe. They said if you're over 200 pounds, use uh, the inner one. I'm assuming Yeah, you just do that. So, as you get them, you just oh, I need to be paying attention. <laughs> All right, you see what I already did here, y'all? I have some of these notches and some of those. I don't think that's going to work. Alrighty, so... Alright, so y'all get the idea. We're going to do this across the whole thing. Dokey, putting on the blue springs. These are fairly easy, just let everyone know. Um, you literally, this is the port support spring, as you can see. You're gonna have that airflow. When you're putting these on, it's as simple. You see the uh, 
the line there, the hole, pretty easy, self-explanatory. And then to turn it and lock it, you just turn it 90 degrees and that is locked in. So that is what the mattress is gonna be sitting on across all this. And you can see the height there, what it's gonna provide for airflow and support. Most everyone, you know, little guy folks, y'all know about the Frohley system. A lot of RVers know about the Frohley system. Um, it's just for maybe some of the new people buying the little guys uh, to consider it. And we're gonna let you know our honest opinion if it was worth the uh, pretty price tag that we spent getting this system. But let's keep on trucking along here. If any of our viewers buy this rig from us one day, <laughs> or someone else, this comes with it. Although it can be taken out and put into our new rig. So it is still a good investment. The moment of truth. I kind of need that pillow. Get the pillows. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's already amazing. I think, anyways. I think so. You have to sleep on it. Right. But the wheel, the, the hole, we, we always have this joke that there was yeah. a hole. Who's going to sleep in the hole? Um, but this does feel better. Yeah, because the, I cause think the, the thing is, is like, usually when you lay down because you're heavier than me, I always end up like falling into your hole. Right. And this, there, there's, it doesn't do that because of the support underneath it. Right. Like. Let's see what the smash weight is here. Sit, sit up. I just want to see how it's smashed. Like, we sitting up? Yeah. So, as y'all can see, she's sitting right there. And it's holding it up. I mean, that is a good inch and a half lift. It is providing support. It's not flush against this with the plastic that we had before. So overall, your thoughts? I mean, from just laying on it, it, it does seem, it's different because, right. you know, it's got a bit more give and stuff to right. it um, because of the flux underneath. Right. Um, the, true test would be you this know, weekend this weekend how it feels after sleeping on it a couple nights in a row yeah um, but yeah it's nice that it comes with those red clips so that you can adjust the firmness in certain areas so right. we'll maybe playing with that um let so you yeah, know see. yeah so this uh will continue this video we're gonna hop jump skip to Asheville and once i snap there'll be two days of sleeping on the bed that has occurred and our final opinions and reviews of the froley bed system for the little guy max so and just like that <laughs> we have slept on this for three days um we just got back from Asheville. we're back at the house 
We have the hookups. And what is your overall opinion of sleeping on the Frolly system for three days? I mean, I think it made a difference. It it definitely felt like we were more supported. I know Daniel pretty much always felt like he was laying on the wood mm -hmm. that the mattress was on top of because the mattress is thin and uh, the Frolly system did a good job of uh, supporting him and keeping him off of the, the wood. Yeah, so we probably still need to add the red tension rods, I think, to firm it up or invest in a little bit better mattress. Um, you know, I've always heard when people get these, they're like, oh, it's like sleeping on a five-star uh, bed and yada, yada, yada. Some of the other YouTubers and people who get the Froley system. And I have to disagree with that. Like, you can't just get the Froley system and have a bad mattress and think you're going to sleep five-star. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not the same. It's, gonna, <laughs> it's definitely going to support yeah. you more. Um, and I think the, you know, the adding the red, um, things to make certain areas of the mattress firmer is going to be really beneficial. Um, like around where like our hips and, and stuff lay, yeah. I think having that firmer will, will help. Cause I, I did still feel like I was kind of sleeping in the hole that Daniel creates <laughs> with his weight. We have a weight differential you know, <laughs> of 6'1", 200 something me. pounds. <laughs> yeah, she's petite. So yeah, overall great. Um, glad we bought it. Probably should have bought it at the very beginning two and a half years ago. Um, I, yeah, I think that would have alleviated us going through so many mattresses because uh, I think we went through like two different, ones. two different mattresses and I definitely think if we had the Frolly system we would have been able to Settle. modify the support that the mattress gave and be able to, to keep <laughs> right. mattresses. Right. I mean, it's a pretty penny, so I would look at it if you're going to invest in the Frolly system, take it kind of with you to your next rig. If I don't know if I'd resell it because that's just a big investment. You know, we did a um, discount code with actually Randy's Adventures. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> um, we, we haven't aligned with them yet, so we did get a little bit of a cut um, off her discount code, and so that brought some savings and made it worthwhile. But honestly, I would get the Proly system. I like the airflow. That's really important. Um, we did early on brand new RVers. We didn't pay attention to that so much, and we started building up some condensation, mm -hmm. and uh, we had to address some mold issues and replace some of the wood. Um, we caught it early, but I think this does a way better job than the 18-wheeler um, foam plastic stuff we bought. Right. Well, it does. It does that, and also supports the mattress. So yeah. it, it's definitely like a dual um benefit there yeah yeah so but yeah our approved jo joyous voyagers frolly system thumbs up thumbs up and uh, i'll just probably do some more camp outs and let you know how it's going uh we just want to give an honest review um of one of those gadgets you can buy for your rv anyways thank y'all for watching as always we appreciate all the comments all the subscribers all the followers all the thumbs ups all the sharing um <laughs> you know we we kind of take the channel we, we just want to share you know our travels and and fun with y'all and what we do um we're not trying to become big youtube stars or anything but we appreciate the community that we've um gained and uh, the friends and all the fun that we've had uh you know, going back and forth online with y'all and really hearing feedback. So if y'all have any ideas of other videos or things y'all want to see that we've never addressed in the 180 something videos we've made for the past 10 years, uh, let us know. But as always, joy on the road. See ya. See ya.